Hello. Today we're going to do some art. Oh yes, I love art. We do like a bit of art. And for our art today, we're going to make our paper plate dragon. So you've got the instructions in your pack. And we're going to have a go at making one ourselves too. So for this, you will need your paper plate. You will need some paper or some card. Some paint. You can decide what colour your dragon is. We're going to do ours red. And you'll need some scissors. Scissors. A paintbrush. Paintbrush. Some glue. Glue. And if you've got it, an egg box, an old egg box. And if you've got them, some googly eyes. But don't worry if you haven't because no, you can draw them No, we love googly eyes. We do like our googly eyes. So I'm going to move these so you can see how we make our dragon. So you need to start with your paper plate and you fold it in half to make, oh, does anybody know what shape it makes when you fold a paper plate in half? What shape is it when it's full? It's a... Plate. It is a plate. It's a circle shape. And when you fold it in half, it makes a... Half a plate. A semicircle, half a plate. So fold it in half, then you need to cut your scissors and carefully cut some teeth. Sharp. Very sharp. Yeah. Cut some triangle teeth out for your dragon. Big teeth good for eating children. Well. Isn't that it's, right, Miss Hitbox? If it's a nasty dragon, it might eat children, but... Well, if it's a vegetarian. It might be a vegetarian. Or vegan. Could be a vegan dragon. It might only eat stones. Just like your dog. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it's a gluten-free dragon. Maybe. Right, so now you've cut your triangles for your dragon's teeth. It's time to paint the dragon. So choose what colour you want your dragon to be. And then you're going to paint the outside and the inside of your dragon. Why can't we do ours green and pink? Oh, because we didn't have any green and pink paint, I'm afraid. Red is a lucky Chinese colour, so we're going to paint our dragon red. Nice painting. When you paint your dragon, be careful not to paint its very sharp teeth. Because you could paint them a different colour, or you could keep them white shiny teeth yeah, because you might get cut by the sharp teeth yeah you might, might try and bite your fingers off he might if he's a, not a very friendly dragon Lovely painting. She's good at painting. Oh, thanks, Pip. Not as good as me. No, no one's as good as you. So now you've painted the inside and the outside of your dragon's head, you need to put it to one side to dry. And whilst that dries, you can work on his tongue and his eyes. So for the tongue, you need your piece of paper or your card. And I'm going to draw a big tongue shape on mine. A big tongue shape for my dragon. 
Can we give it that split bit at the bottom like snakes has got? We could. We can change it to be a little like a split tongue. There we go. And then you cut out your tongue very carefully. Just like so. Oh, that looks lovely. And then you're ready to make the eyes and the nose. So we're going to use our egg carton to make the eyes and the egg. nose. So what you need to do is cut out. Eggy egg. This bit's very tricky, so you might need a grown-up to help you. Like me. Yeah. Right. Cut out each. Little egg pot. Can we put fire coming out of his nose? We can try. If you had some cotton wool and orange paint, you could make fire and smoke. You could, that's a very good idea. And it could come out of his nose or mouth. Yeah, and he could be a fire breathing dragon. You want to have the individual egg cup. So we got one, two, we need one more for the dragon's nose. There we go. Right, so we've got our dragon's eyes and our dragon's nose. Now, if you like, you can paint yours, but I'm going to keep mine green. And what we need to do is then get your googly eyes if you've got some. If not, you can draw yours on and stick them in the middle of the egg cups. Just like that. Two googly eyes. And then, if you've got pom-poms, you could stick them on for his nose. But we haven't got any, so I'm going to draw some on. Just like that. Right, when your paper plate is dry, then you can assemble your dragon all together. So, you can stick the tongue in the middle so you get your glue I'm using a prick stick or you can use PVA put some glue on the dragon's tongue and stick it in the middle of his mouth that's not going to taste very nice now it'd be a bit yuffy wouldn't it stick it and then you need to stick your dragon's eyes on on top of his head. So you need a little bit more glue. Or if you don't have any glue, you could always use sellotape to stick your dragon together. One eye and then the other eye. Two eyes, and then you can stick on that nose that you drew him earlier. Right at the front. And there you've got your very scary Chinese dragon. Oh, that looks great! <sighs> <sighs> What should we call our Chinese dragon, Pip? Well, oh, Pip. We call it after you. Yeah. Pip the Chinese dragon. What will you call your Chinese dragon? Have a little think and you can tell us all later on at Zoom and show us 
your fantastic Chinese dragons. We'll see you all later. Bye. Bye bye.